A quiet morning at the U.S. Air Force base in Incirlik, southern Turkey, America's closest military position to Syria. These test flights could soon become real. They're poised for an order that's yet to come. I have not made a decision, but I think it's important that uh, if, in fact, uh, we make a choice to uh, have repercussions for the use of chemical weapons, then the Assad regime, which is involved in a civil war, trying to protect itself, uh, will have received uh, a pretty strong signal that, in fact, it better not do it again. So, Bashar, maybe you're going to learn the hard way. Next Even some of the most focus. hawkish in the but U.S. aren't convinced the by the idea of striking of Syria. There really hasn't been any indication from the administration as to what our national interest is with respect to this particular situation. As Britain stumbles, France has reiterated its readiness to act. Everything must be done for a political solution, but it will only happen if the coalition is able to appear as an alternative with the necessary force, notably with its army. All the talk of an imminent strike has sparked concerns in Israel over possible Syrian retaliation. Edgy residents of Tel Aviv jostle for gas masks with no clear outline of military plans. All they have is rumor. Things are also heating up in the Mediterranean. Russia is sending its warships in. President Putin insists this is to protect national security.